ladies, and we'd like to first of all kind of explain what kind of a show it is, and it's not the type of show that some of the men here in the audience think it is. We would like to have called it Beansky's Burlesque, but it's a no-no, and so we called it Gaieties. And the way they spelled Gaieties was G-A-Y. <laughs> Two guys in the audience of the last show come up here and kiss me. And I just, I just, I just want to tell you now that really we we are playing to a mixed audience. <laughs> what we'd like to do is bring back the days of uh, yesteryear, not yesteryear. Geez, it makes me sound so it's such a such a you know, the Lone Ranger. Oh yeah, hey, that's an idea. The Lone Ranger and Skippy and all of them. Of the times we used to steal a quarter out of our mother's purse and sneak downtown, and we'd go to the Gaiety, or we'd go to the Globe. But most likely, if we only had 15 cents, we'd go to the state in Harrison. You couldn't get much cheaper. And you've seen these same girls that we've got tonight do their same dance. <laughs> getting, getting them together, getting them together. And, it, and the biggest thrill of all was finding that they were all in St. Dennis. But getting, getting them together and to practice their precision numbers, which they did for six months diligently, and uh, they, they, they will present them to you, and, and I know that you, will, the older fellows here, will, ap will appreciate, as we said, will appreciate their wives <laughs> about 100% more than they did when they walked in the door. So let's go a little bit on with the show, and let's kind of bring back the memories of that misspent 15 cents, and here we go with our one-armed drummer. Here we go, please. There we go. You see, now right now there's a guy in the third row over there, a little quivering in his seat. He anticipates the worst, but we only bring out the best because he is Bubbles Latour from Gay Perry. Here's Bubbles. There she is right now. And here's Gypsy. And here's Rose. And here's Lee. It takes three of these girls just to make one good chorus girl. So on with the show, and here we go. That was, that was a complete waste of money as far as music lessons were concerned. <laughs> and for those people sitting way back there, it is not the stage that is creaking. <laughs> it, ev it even, it, it sounds like the Star Spangled Banner up here as they're getting off with the flags waving. That girl, the third one over here, the third girl from, if you notice, to these fellas that are sitting up here, I mean, this, this is the best view you can get up in here, is tone deaf. <laughs> she dances, she, she dances to her own music, 
she hums way down upon the Swanee River. And we can't tell her that is not the music being played, but she says that's the only song they ever played when she was on the stage. She was on with Al Jolson. Now, to bring, to, to bring us back up to date on our show, I would like to present now Deansky's own little ginger snap, and here she is, Verndell. <laughs> garbage of the show. <clears throat> These are two rejects from the Polish Army. They're the only two people that I've ever known that were dismissed from the Canine Corps for fighting the officers. And so I'd like to bring them out right now. Here's the Ski Twins, Stash and Yash, and their little girlfriend, Lydia. Oh, Lydia, the 
guess I was. Where he went. 